In our quest for convenience in modern times, it's easy to overlook the wisdom of our forebears. The 1920s, characterized by the Roaring Twenties and the beginning of the Great Depression, was a time when many people learned to live frugally, out of both choice and necessity. Let's dive deeper into 20, often forgotten frugal habits from this era that are worthy of a comeback. Number 1. Waste Not, Want Not Meals were meticulously planned to avoid waste. Leftovers were skillfully transformed into entirely new dishes. Stale bread became breadcrumbs for coating, bread pudding, or even stuffing. Number two, line drying clothes. Before the convenience of electric dryers, clothes were line dried. This method not only saved on electricity, but also reduced wear and tear on fabrics, making clothes last longer. Number three, hand-me-downs. Families were larger, and clothing was often handed down from elder to younger siblings. Clothes that were beyond wear were repurposed into quilts, pillow stuffing, or cleaning rags. Number four, homemade cleaning supplies. Households relied on versatile natural ingredients. White vinegar could disinfect surfaces, baking soda served as a gentle abrasive cleaner, and lemon provided a pleasant fragrance and additional cleaning power. Number five, growing your own food. Backyards were not just for leisure. Many families cultivated vegetable patches or kept chickens, ensuring a steady supply of fresh organic produce and eggs. Number six, reusing items. Single use was a foreign concept. Glass jars from jams or pickles were cleaned and reused for storing homemade goods, buttons, or even as makeshift lanterns. Number seven, darning and repair. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. A small tear didn't mean the end for clothing. People became proficient in darning socks and patching up trousers, ensuring every garment had a long life. Number eight, bartering services. Monetary transactions weren't always the norm. Neighbors often traded skills and services. A person might exchange fresh produce for knitting work or carpentry. Number nine, frugal entertainment. Expensive outings were rare. Families found joy in simple pleasures gathering around the radio, playing card games, or picnicking in local parks. Number 10, making do. This was an era of resourcefulness. If something broke and couldn't be immediately replaced, innovative solutions were sought to make do in the meantime. Number 11, bicycling. With fewer cars on the road and the expense associated with them, bicycles were a popular, healthier, and more eco-friendly mode of transportation. Number 12, homemade beauty treatments. Women turned to their kitchens for beauty treatments. Honey masks, olive oil hair treatments, and rose water tonics were common dye beauty remedies. Number 13, bulk buying. This era saw the purchase of staples like flour, sugar, and rice in bulk quantities, saving money and reducing the need for frequent trips to stores. Number 14, canning and preserving. To maximize the yield of summer harvests, fruits and veggies were canned, pickled, or turned into jams and jellies, ensuring a taste of summer during colder months. Number 15, using every part. In cooking, every part of an ingredient was used. Bones were turned into rich broths, and peels often became a key ingredient in another dish. Number 16, DIY home repairs. The 1920s homeowner was a jack of all trades. From fixing leaky roofs to mending broken furniture, people took pride in maintaining their homes with their own two hands. Number 17, saving resources. Resources like water were used judiciously. Rainwater was often collected for gardening and leftover cooking water found use in cleaning or feeding plants. Number 18, making gifts. Store-bought gifts were a luxury. Instead, people baked, sewed, crafted, or wrote personal notes, making festive occasions even more meaningful. Number 19, 
community sharing. Communities were tight-knit. Tools, books, and even recipes were commonly borrowed and returned, fostering a spirit of sharing and collective growth. Number 20, valuing experiences over things. Material possessions were fewer, but the value placed on experiences, relationships, and simple joys was immense. Modern conveniences have certainly made life easier, but they've also distanced us from some timeless wisdom. By revisiting and incorporating some of these frugal habits from the 1920s, we can enrich our lives, save money, and perhaps even rediscover some lost joys of simplicity.